All right, my friends, this is Mr. Ainsworth, and we are in MRWC talking about your activity 2B2, okay, and learning how to construct rational numbers like fractions, like four fifths, or even negative one third on the number line using a compass and a straight edge. So, first of all, you got to have a compass, and you have to have some form of straight edge, commonly known as a ruler. <laughs> okay, uh, if you don't have one of these, go to the library today before 3 p.m. The Circle Master Compass is available to pick up. Comes with a regular pencil, but I switch it out for mechanical. It's a little bit more accurate because you got to have the, you got to keep your pencil sharp. Make sure that the tip of the pointer is even with the pencil itself. All right, you adjust it by loosening or tightening this right here because you don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose either. Okay, so and then you can even put a red pen in there if you want to color code your drawings. You can do whatever you like. All right, so let's start off by uh, constructing four fifths. You need blank paper to do this. It's much better to do on blank paper than graph paper, so I would highly suggest you pause the video and get this ready before you begin, because watching is different than doing, my friends. All right, you don't get good by watching, you get good by doing. All right, so the very first thing is you draw a number line, label zero and one wherever you like. Second step is you get a, a straight edge and you construct what's called a transversal through zero. Okay, this is called a transversal. It's just an intersecting line. Okay, and it goes through zero. And what you want to do if you're going to construct four fists, you want five congruent arcs from uh, this point. So I'm, going to, I'm right handed, so I'm going to rotate this around, hold it on the pointer side. Okay, obviously you hold it here, that's the best control and you want to go five arcs. So you don't want a radius too big because you're going to be off the paper. You got to construct five congruent segments. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now for teaching purposes, I'm going to just label these things as we go. So it's easy reference. I'm going to call zero point A, point B, C, D, just go alphabetical and make it easy, E, F, and I'll call this point at one, we'll call that G just for reference. Okay, but I constructed five arcs first. Arc one, arc two, three, four, five. You pick your radius, just make sure it's not too big so you're not off the page. All right, everybody asks me, how, how big does the radius have to be? If I don't specify, it doesn't matter. Okay, next step, you're gonna construct a line through F and G. So you put your pencil at G, line it up with F, and draw your line. So what I want to do, my goal is to get construct four fifths. So I got to construct a parallel line to FG that runs through E, all right, because that's on the fourth arc, okay? So I get four fifths here, three fifths here, two fifths, and then one fifth through B. So it's the same idea no matter what fraction you're working with. So you grab your compass again, here we go. I'm gonna open it up a little past F and E. So put it at F here and go a little bit past E because you don't want your arcs to overlap. Okay, don't want them to overlap because it's, uh, it gets confusing that way. So construct an arc intersecting the transversal and this transversal here, both transversals. And we want to construct the same arc through E because, well, we want four fifths. So I have to use the one on the fourth, uh, on the fourth, okay? And so you construct the same arc. Now let me highlight the points that we're gonna be using. So these two points right here, I'm gonna set the radius between these two points. I'm just gonna give these points names, X and Y. And I'm gonna use this point down here, call it W. And I gotta find Z down here. It has the same distance away as X and Y. So what I do, I'm gonna get on right-handed, so I have to, I'm gonna shift, rotate, and I'm gonna adjust my compass from X to Y. Be very accurate now this step here if you're not accurate your construction is not going to look good okay it's not going to be accurate so you got to really make sure that the compass is set see see, see there from x to y and then bring it down to w and repeat it there we go so i just found point z right here call that point z so wz is the same as x y so this is important x y equals wz I'm talking about the radius of the compass. Okay, very, very important. Last step, we want four fifths. So we're gonna use point E now because that's on the fourth segment. 
I'll end it up with Z and look it better be parallel to FG, which it is. Okay, so these two lines right here, EZ and then FG, have to be parallel. So line EZ has to be parallel to uh, FG. A little, just a little uh, geometry right there at you. Okay, that little symbol means parallel. All right. Now, so let's label our result. Our, it hit the number line right here. So this is four fifths. So the distance right here, this distance from four fifths to one is obviously one fifth, right? So you can get creative. You can use that, right? You could you can adjust your compass from from point to point right here, and that's one fifth. And come over here at A to find one fifth up if I wanted. So right here, there's one fifth because it's the same distance as over here. If I want to find two fifths, okay, I just found two fifths right here. So two fifths. If I want to find negative one fifth, you just go on the other side of the number line, right? You just go on the other side. Look at that. And now I found negative one fifth. If I want negative two fifths, it'd be over here to the left of zero. If I want to go beyond one, okay, no problem. Let's go over here, and this point is one and one fifth, commonly known as six fifths. So you can get improper, or yeah, improper fractions. So there's a lot of things you can do once you have the basic drawing. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try constructing one third and then negative one third. This one's easier. Whenever the, the smaller the denominator, the easier the construction is, right? So draw a transversal first through zero. I wouldn't suggest picking it a, a very low angle here. That's very, very difficult like that. So bring it like 40, 45 degrees. Okay. Get your compass. And then construct three congruent arcs. So you can set your compass any way you like. Just make sure you have... You don't want it too small, but you don't want it too big. And you count three congruent segments. If you want thirds, you go one, two... Whoops, two two, three, right? So I've just found a few points. So I found point B, I found point C, and I found point D. We'll call this point E. Again, I just do alphabetical just for, just, just for teaching purposes. If you're doing this on your own, you don't have to label uh, if you know what you're doing. Okay, so there we go. So I need to get a line parallel to DE. So if I go through C, that'd be two thirds. I go through B, that'd be one third. So one third here, two thirds, and then three thirds. So back to the compass again. And again, all these constructions are the same. It's just, you know, just changes with the denominator. So open it up so the arcs don't uh, overlap, intersect both sides, okay? Come down here at B now, because I want one third and construct the same arc. So I'm gonna highlight the points of interest right here in red. That makes it easier for you to see. I have to readjust my compass here. And I got to find this point over here somewhere. So I have to adjust my compass from X to Y. Remember, X, Y equals W, Z. All right, Z is going to be over here, just like in my previous construction. So you have to open up your compass right there. See? Come down here at W. Repeat it. So I just found Z right here. So this WZ is the same thing as X to Y. And you take your straight edge out and draw your line parallel to DE. So BZ is parallel to DE. Draw it long so that you can see that they're parallel. Okay, parallel. Those, those arrows mean parallel. And I just located one third. So this right here is one third. And then if I want negative one third, I just go, I readjust the compass from zero to one third. There it is right there. Go on the other side of zero. And I just found negative one third here. And you have to label everything and show all your arcs. So label and show arcs. Label and show all arcs. Okay, there you go. So, you have a, another example right there of how to find 
one third. And if you want two thirds, well, that's easy too, right? So you just go from zero to one third, right? And you go over here to two thirds. So I just found two thirds right here. You want one and one third? It's over here. One and one third, that's four thirds. See, you get a lot of fractions. So for the price of one, you get many, okay? All right, let's try a few more just for funsies here. All right, let's try three sevenths. As the denominator grows, you know, obviously you have more steps involved, but you know, it's no, it's no big deal. So just like the last ones here, uh, you want to construct a transversal. So like at around 40 degrees or so, make it long. We have to construct seven now. Our, our denominator is uh, seven, so I got to construct seven arcs. So on this one here, you probably you want to decrease the radius because, uh, well, you're going to have to construct seven congruent arcs here. So if your radius is too big, you're going to be off the page. Okay, so count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's double check. All right, let's label one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let me highlight the points of interest here. We got this point up here. I'm going to show you what an unlabeled uh, construction looks like. So when you're practicing, you just you just go ahead and construct the arcs. You don't have to put all the letters on there. That's just a teaching strategy. Okay, so if you get a parallel line to this line here, going through the sixth arc, you're going to get six sevenths, five sevenths, four sevenths, three sevenths, two sevenths, one seventh. So I want three sevenths. So let me highlight the point of interest. It's going to be here. I need that point. So I'm going to get your eyes right there. I want three sevenths. So take my compass again, adjust it past the other arc so you don't intersect the arcs because it gets confusing that way. Come down to the point of interest and do the same thing. And then I'm going to highlight these points here. I'm going to switch to red so you see it. I'm going to adjust my my compass. So notice that you'll see that in red. So now I use the third arc because I want three sevenths. And it should be parallel to this line right here. So if you draw it long, you can see it. You can see how these lines are parallel. So once again, <clears throat> here's seven sevenths, six sevenths, five sevenths, four sevenths, three sevenths, two sevenths, one seventh. So this is three sevenths here. If you want negative three sevenths, no big deal, right? You just adjust your compass to three sevenths. Come over here, mark off three sevenths. So if this distance right here is three sevenths, then this distance is also three sevenths. But if you're on the left side of zero, then you're at negative three sevenths, right? If you want one and three sevenths, let's say I ask you to construct an improper fraction, no problem, just go over here, go three sevenths more to the right, and you're at one and three sevenths, which as you guys know is 10 sevenths, okay? So there's many different things you can do. All right. Last one. Let's do, let's construct five sixths. Okay, and then, then obviously you guys can try it. So we're going to construct five sixths. You start off with a transversal again. Now, if I'm going too fast, obviously you guys should be, you know, using your pause and play, right? So it's a video. So pause, watch, pause, and then do. Watch, pause, do. Watch, pause, do. So that's, that's how you should be doing it. All right, now we want uh, five sixths. So we want six congruent arcs. So don't make your radius too big, otherwise you'll be off the page. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and let's count to double check. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Highlight the points of interest here. Okay, you connect here. And again, this is not the only way to do this construction. There's different ways. So if you saw another way that you like better, but it's valid, okay, be my guest, then do it that way. Okay, so now I want five sixths. So I want a parallel line to this. 
going through the fifth arc right here at this point. So parallel now. This would be bad. This is good. So right there would be five six, four six, three six, two six, one sixth. Okay, so one once again, a couple of time. So adjust it past the original arc so that they don't intersect. Keep saying that. Now I, I need a I'm gonna be using this point here, okay? Because I want five six. So let me repeat that step. So I constructed this arc here and then I put it at this point on arc five because I want five six, okay? And then construct just the same arc, right? Then I'm gonna highlight the other points of interest here. So we got this point and this point. I have to readjust the compass here. And then I'm gonna use this point. I gotta find the, the last point. So let me do it left-handed. So you readjust your compass right there, come down to this point. And then draw your parallel line. It's pretty good. That's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, so this point is five six. So this distance right here from five six to one is obviously one six of the line. And so if you want one and one six, you go to the right. You just set your compass to one sixth. This is how you copy a segment. Come over here, repeat it. And so now I have one and one six right here. One and one six, commonly known as seven six. If I want one six over here, I can easily get that too. So there's one six. If I want negative one six, I just go on the left side of zero. Just rotate. Whoops. There we go. So this point, you gotta plot the point and label. Okay, and show your arcs. If you want two six, you can get that too. So there you go. You have uh, many different uh, examples there for you guys. And and the key is practice. All right, practice, practice, practice. Keep your pencil sharp and uh, pay attention to being accurate. Okay. So I'll see you in my next lesson. It's Mr. Azer. I'm out of here. I'm tired. See you guys.